Toronto System Open. I'm Aaron P, and I'm here with Sumit. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me back, guys. I really appreciate being back here. And it is the top eight. We have Peter Rose versus Kelvin Lau. And Peter Rose is from Kalamazoo. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so we appreciate him taking the time to come all the way up here to play with us and uh, to participate in the system open. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, however, he traveled here from Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. I know how you get to Kalamazoo. I'm not sure how you get from it. Pete's running a nice and chunky um, um, multi-purpose list here. He's got Zeb out in the coordinating Shithapede shuttle, rocking uh, Leia Organo, as, as we were talking about yesterday a little bit. Uh, is an upgrade card you're seeing in almost any list that can afford to have a two-point crew carrier. It's usability is just phenomenal. It's blowing up all over the system open series this, this weekend, I've seen for sure. Yeah, fantastic um, upgrade. And uh, two Blue Squadron Escort X-Wings with uh, nothing but servo mo motors ability built into it. That's no other upgrade cards on there. He's got two no Blue Squadron uh, Pilot B-Wings, which have now dropped a little bit in price to make them a little bit more viable. They got that mm -hmm. three-point reduction from the points decrease. And they also got uh, two free jamming beams, which is really interesting <laughs> to see them coming down at zero points. I mean, why not put them on there? They have the talent slot. And you and I were talking about it briefly off air. There, you often see a lot of people go for AP5 in these types of lists so they yep. can get some more upgrades in there. But it makes a lot of sense for what Peter's trying to do. Zeb's pilot ability is, it makes a lot of sense when your coordinating ship is going to be such a valuable asset to your single action ships that you know it's going to draw heat and Zeb's ability to cancel crits before it hits is going to just help keep that ship alive longer. It's solid. And of course, one of the powerful things is running any swarm is all the same initiatives. Yes. And that's sometimes it's very, very powerful for you to be able to choose, whereas an AP5 running at one would always have to go first. Yeah. Generally among swarm players, the more veteran they are, the more their ships will match mm. initiatives. It gives you a lot of power to be able to move them in any operative order. Yeah. So uh, we're excited to see that Rebel List, and it's nice to see a Rebel List in a top cut at a system open. Absolutely. We've there seen are no a, torpedoes here, baby. We've seen a lot of Rebel Lips, though. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of Rebels in the top eight over on the other tables. And on the right-hand side, we have our local Kelvin Lau. Uh, Kelvin is flying this resistance list. We got... Poe Dameron with Heroic R4 Astromech, so all the twos are blue. Ones and twos are blue. And he's got Proton Torpedoes. Got Tally with Heroic, Lulo with Heroic, and a Blue Squadron Recruit with Heroic. Um, and you might ask, why is the Blue Squadron Recruit there? Well, he's there uh, to replace Greer, who Kelvin had in this list originally. He was practicing it. I practiced a bit with him. Um, and... Uh, the idea behind the Blue Squadron recruit is blocking, an I-1 for blocking, mm -hmm. which might actually matter here. Absolutely. Because of the lower initiative, you'll actually be able to function as a blocker and being able to both have the initiative and being able to block at that lower area. Yep. So the old formula, have one below them and all the rest above them, is being enacted here. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kelvin's been doing that most of the tournament, and uh, he's been doing well, obviously. Uh, this will be an interesting match to see. We've got big rocks and medium rocks, and we have them deployed in the center. We've got a, what looks like, to me, uh, an interesting and unique formation going on with the Rebels um, with Zeb furthest away, so he's protected. Yeah, I assume Pete's going to want to keep Zeb in the game as long as possible to be able to you know, be able to use that layout when he wants to when it's the opportune turn and to continually pass out those coordinates. If he gets any of those three attack die ships in the range one, he's going to really want to be able to give them a focus token so they can pull a target lock on their own turn or, or any of the different things that they can do, like a barrel roll with the B-Wings. It's almost like providing them almost a pseudo-advanced sensors, being able to get that pre-maneuver uh, reposition. Yep. And if this Poe gets trapped, that mini swarm will eat him. That's a lot of firepower coming your way. So Kelvin cannot afford to have his Poe stopped or, or stuck anywhere in front of any of these ships. Mm -hmm. Well, the entirety of the list, I should say. So one of the other things I wanted to talk about, see, see your thoughts on Aaron, is yesterday I was commenting on how it seemed very, very interesting, even maybe even more so now, uh, th that there's a great balance between just really great ship chassis and flying a bunch of those with very minimal upgrades yep. versus flying you know ships that have are good chassis nonetheless but also have a very, very good pilot ability or high initiatives or things mm -hmm. like that. And this is a great matchup because it's showing both of those philosophies being seen at the same time. You know, Peter's list is relying on very reliable, good stat lines, 
you know, workhorse mm-hmm. style ships. It's uh, you know, with the two with the two X's and then the two uh, B wings and then that awesome coordinating ship as well. Where Kelvin's flying with a lot of logical um, high high pilot skill, high initiative, really yep. interesting skill sets on the ship. So this is a really cool dichotomy of that philosophy. Yeah. I mean, FFG is, is really taking giant leaps forward and balancing the game, I yes. must say. Yes. This, this last set of balancing, while not everything was to my liking, like I wanted to see those Sigmas get a hit with a points increase. Yeah. Um, but uh, for the most part, they're really getting closer to that perfect balance between the efficiency, yes, the possibilities for efficiency lists, and on the other hand, possibility for high ace skill, high ace lists. Semi-ace lists. Yeah. And that's really fun on the tables. I mean, that's just something to be really enthusiastic about. If you've been playing X-Wing for years as we have yeah. and watch things swing like a pendulum between unhittable Suntir fell Ace-Wing mm-hmm. and then, you know, great combo big wing. tanks and combo wing. Turret wing and all yeah. the other different wings. Yes. <laughs> and this hopefully is just... The just right. This is the Goldilocks just right list. Okay. Well, what we're seeing we is a willingness to do that, though. We're seeing yep. a huge willingness to do it and do it quickly. So it's and very, this, very positive. And this is all about the structure they gave yeah. uh, 2.0. Yeah. They can adjust points as they go. It's yeah, we amazing. were looking. I was looking at the top tables during the last match. Mm-hmm. Every ma- every list was unique. Every list was different. Every list was robust and had its own feel and personality. And it's really exciting to see the diversity that's out there. I mean, not every list was unique. There was a few of those quad phantoms out there. Sure, well, that's a great but list. But you know what? One of those just went down. Kelvin just knocked one out with this resistance beauty over here. He did. He had to get through Ryan to do so, who has been running those since previous days. I mean, Ryan is an incredible pilot. He's really good with those things. I wish I could have seen that match, but I was it was. It, I was watching it. It was great. Back to the amazing match we have at hand. Yes, and we've got some speed coming out of Tally. Probably the same for Lulo. Now, I, that name, Lulo, Lulo, that apostrophe, I think, L apostrophe, I yeah. think that means we're supposed to say, oh, Lulo, Lulo. Uh, I mean, I, it took me all day yesterday to find out that that's uh, a male ship and not a female ship, so I'm Dude, I'm not going to butcher the name, so I'm just going to say... Don't you, don't you get into the lore? I try to, but uh, not always works out. So what we're seeing is what we thought we might try to see. So Calvin wants to take a lot of those flash ships and maybe try to flank in behind that brick. And, mm-hmm. and get in behind where he can use the speed and reposition to his ability. But as we can see from Peter's opening, X-Wings can go pretty quick now with those S-Foils closed. The boost is huge on the X-Wing. So is the barrel roll. But the, the boost on the, the T-65 just makes it a different ship. Yeah. Like, if you're moving later than your opponent, you're like, yeah, I don't like that. I'll just uh, close my foils, yeah. do a boost. Well, you do your foils changing before you activate, of course. So, I like this opening from both of them. I thought maybe Pete would hang out behind those rocks, but it uh, seems he's coming out fast. Well, seeing as how Peter's playing something that really wants to get his joust up the thing, do you think he's going to try to come and occupy this board state, all that area? That's clearly what Kelvin wants him to do. We have a two straight from the blue squadron. All the orcs, all the arcs on those ships currently pointing forward? Yep, and if you missed the earlier bit, the blue squadron is here replacing an earlier version of this list's Greer, so that the list could have a bigger bid, and so that that I one could be an effective blocker. Right now, he's not blocking; he's just running. Now, do you think Peter's going to try to use those jammer beans in any other capacity other than well, I might as well, or is he going to save it for an opportune moment? I feel like I would much rather be utilizing the three attack dice at the front arc of the B wing, anyways. But if it's an integral moment to be able to jam somebody, then opt for it. I mean, for zero points, you might as well have it on the ship, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're just for decoration, man. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you don't think they're usable? Uh, I think, like, it, you know, one clutch situation every two uh, system opens, you might use it. Yeah. Well, their pro- their cost is right then for what that is. All right. So we've got Peter turning in. What other real options did he have? He'll probably boost with the X-Wings. It well, looks he like they'll be coming staggered now, so maybe not. Maybe he'll oh, barrel he roll. Oh, he's boosting. Good call. Oh, okay, he's, yeah. yeah. Making space for the rest of the list to tuck up in there. Yep. He's going wide, yeah. which is, you know, what we've seen a couple of we've seen a couple of people do this this weekend with their swarm lists um, going wide, and it's uh, it's a good strategy. It's a different strategy than running tight little formations, mm-hmm. uh, but 
flying a U-wing in one lends itself much better to a wide uh, front rather than a tight, narrow one. You think he may be a barrel roll here and then the same two bank from the other ship? I think he's good where oh, he is. Okay. Uh, the B-wings are the center of the pivot, right? So he doesn't want to race them too quickly. Right. And he doesn't want to get them uh, too far away from the X-wings, doesn't want the X-wings overextended. Uh, we got five straight from Tally. So we're probably going to see then Peter slow down a little bit then next turn so that he can kind of tuck everybody in together. It's a boost. If she completes, we will see. She does. Nice. Somebody ate their Wheaties. Mm -hmm. Actually, I breakfasted with him. He ate garbage food at McDonald's. <laughs> That's where his strength comes from. Yeah, it's bad food. Yeah. We it's were like actually doing an informal poll yesterday uh, with some of our you know, top-ranked players, and it turned out I was like, what's the health food you guys eat? And they're like, nothing. We eat crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take out every night. All mini, all mm -hmm. uh, mini Mr. Fusions, basically. They got to yeah. power themselves with garbage. Yeah. So but there yeah. you have it, folks. Don't eat expensive hippie juices. Don't drink juices. Don't eat kale. Go to McDonald's, wolf down a burger and one, some nasty jalapeno poppers. Because that's what wins. Got a boost from Poe. Okay. So I'm not. Looks like Poe closes S foils as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got the S foil token. Yeah. No reason to have them open at this range. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm in love with that position for Poe. You're not thinking he's not going to want to split the forces and go like that? I, I'm thinking that's what he's showing to Pete. Right. It's going to take those B wings a while to catch up. Yeah. If they want to lunge at Poe. Now, they can do red three banks, which can be made white by Leia. Mm -hmm. um, but do you think opening engagement is the kind of turn that you want to use Leia on? I mean, you burn Leia when you have to. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you don't bank on being able to use her twice in a game. You want to, but not necessarily assuming you will be able to. And if you've got a round where your X-wings are about to get overextended unless your B-wings catch up, mm -hmm. you burn it. So do you think then maybe Calvin might try to do the three banks and then a boost to get back in around here with his A-wings? Maybe. Two turns later. So the round that Ulo finally takes his shots, what he wants to do is be in a place where he's not being shot at mm -hmm. um, and have a focus and a stress, okay. both things at the same time. So the, land that, the round that Ulo lands, he wants to have both of those have dodged arcs and yep. have both of those actions free. Maximize the ability with no yep. negative effects. Exactly. Because in this matchup, Lulo is almost as important as Poe. Okay, how come? Three red dice. There you go. Okay, yes. Yeah, so those are his two three red dice ships, so he's yep. got to keep Lulo as around as possible. Yep. And at range one, Lulo could be rocking four, which is very, very hefty. Yeah. And as the chat was saying, is if Kelvin jousts, he loses. And we're very sure that Kelvin also knows that. And yep. he's going to try to probably try to find a way to either split up Peter's formation or at least be able to flank. He's definitely not going to want to put all of his ships directly into the path of that list. Whoa. It's a brazen move by Blue Squadron. Mm -hmm. And the X-Wings are coming fast. Wow. Okay. And their foils are open, I guess? So we're assuming the model is the same I'm way? just going to assume that for purposes of casting, when people move their ships like that, uh, they have taken the time to think about it. Yep. And the foils are in the optimal position for the yep. situation, which would be open here. If you see him boost, of course, we know otherwise. Exactly. And we got three banks. Okay, so a nice read by Kelvin. The blue is actually in a spot to maybe do a damage to an X-Wing and only take fire from one X-Wing. We'll see about those Bs. Looks yeah, like two turns can put those Bs. Right in behind the X-Wings. and uh, Right beside the yeah, X-Wings. Yeah, B-Wing 5 would line up right beside it, and then 4 would just run up right behind it. It's one bank. Is that clear? Well, we'll see in a moment. Looks like it should. Not, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Like butter. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. In their light glue. Very nicely done. And that's going to allow Peter a chance to spread out his all of his arcs across everybody and catch almost everything going this way on subsequent turns. His B-Wings, at least number five, might have range to the blue. I mean, we have to keep in mind here that uh, Peter is most likely thinking... 
what do I do? What do I have to do to catch Poe? Yes. And you have to keep in mind when you're fighting Black One Poe that you're most likely going to have to catch him twice. Absolutely, because the first time you catch him, he's going to bug out. Then you got to go do one. all that work and catch him all over again. Yep. So you really have to play long term yeah. when you're fighting Poe. Yeah. I mean, getting him to half is such a substantial pile of points. Yeah. But the first time you do it, it's not bad. Okay, this is. So Tally is right out there in the open. It's a range three engagement. Which I think he's happy with, getting that extra evade die. No need to force anything. Hmm. I don't think you want to force a stress here on Lulu. Nope. You There's don't. no point. He wants to take as little damage as possible. And you want as optional, uh, you want all of your dial available to your next round for sure, because you want to be able to adjust accordingly. I'm really bad at estimating range on this screen. That was uh, good in the old one we used. I think Lulo's out. But um, Talison's in, in arc and in range, I believe. I would guess on X Wing 2. So I think we'll see a proton torpedo. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you think? He's just going <laughs> to send him flowers? <laughs> I mean, hey man. I don't know. He might be waiting for something else, but I think that's exactly what you want to do to get early damage out. So I think that position's worked out pretty well for Poe. X-Wing 2 doesn't have a great route to attack him next round. And I don't think he has range this round. So... So two hits, he's going to spend the target hits. lock for sure. Yep. He's probably hoping he can get away with not having to spend the focus. But he's going to. He's going to. Yeah. He's going to do what damage he can while he can. Yeah. So two damage on the X-Wing, shields down. And with Poe shooting first with those torps, he's looking for damage. Yeah. He gets a crit. It's nice. I mean, he still has one more charge left. He can one back next round and torp something else and finish off a shot. I don't think he's going to turn in for the world. I don't think he's, or bank into those that swarm. We've got two hits from Tally, I think. We've got, ooh, looks like it's out of B-Wing. Yeah, I think it was on B-Wing 5. Mm -hmm. Peter deciding whether he wants to hold on to that focus for offense or defense. He's decided to keep his ships around as long as possible. So one damage hit on number 5. I like that early on in the engagement. There's no need to rush. Keep your, mm -hmm. keep your health up as high as possible, as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Lulo is out of range. So Tally's going to feel some pain here. Mm -hmm. We'll see if X-Wing 3 decides to target. So if you're Peter, oh. do you throw all of your viable attacks? Assuming X-Wing 3, do you throw all of that at um, Lulo? Or ta it's Tally. Oh, sorry, it's Tally's number two? Yeah. Oh, okay. She's more disposable. We've got two. Tally spends the focus, mm -hmm. takes none. And we've got one more X-Wing shot to be decided here on Peter's side. Oh, the B-Wing does have a shot. Yeah. Right, of course it does. B-Wing rolls one. Good thing that focus isn't there. Tally don't enough. care. So no damage into Kelvin's list yet, and we've got some spread out damage. Yeah, so X-Wing 3 is going to shoot Poe, hoping yep. to get half points. Oh, nice. he's going to get it. Maybe it's possible. And that's two six shields. two shields. Yep. So that was an unfortunate exchange for Kelvin, considering so far... Spending the focus entailed that, like, he, he had to see that coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think he would have very much liked to have gotten more out of his torpedo without having to spend that focus. So, so another damage to something? I think that was X-Wing 3. Yeah. He focused fire on X-Wing 3, so X-Wing 3 is down one hull. Yeah. Do we have that going on on the... Yeah, one hull off X-Wing 3. Um, okay, so I think Poe has to get out. You think he has to bug out that I way? I do. Because if you're, Pete, if you're Pete, do you bring everybody to bear and try to smush Poe, thinking you might get this as an opportunity, or do you continually keep your arcs nice and wide and allow yourself the most range of motion for your ships? Uh, you choose now. You choose now. Now is a turn that you decide. Yep. Okay. You either go for an A-Wing, yep. one of the fives, Try to bring it down, and that's, you know, that's tough. Mm -hmm. um, now we know what's going to happen with, with blue, here. Blue is going to come up in this area and make some trouble and block some stuff. Yeah, grab and a focus, catch for. somebody at range one. Try not to explode. So knowing that Pete is probably doing one or two straights only, 
Mm -hmm. Maybe a, one or two banks mm -hmm. from B Wings four and five. This is tough. This is tough. This is a dicey. This is a. Would you? I think you could go as far as say this might be a game defining turn. Oh yeah. Because this. I mean, is it always the, is. Second yes. round of engagements is huge. always the game defining turn. So something's going to come one way or the other. Yeah. Something serious is going to happen. So the A wings obviously have the option of the five straight. Yes. So. So you, the call is then on Kelvin's side. Does he think Peter goes everything after Poe? Because if he knows that, then is he maybe going to do? I don't know. What is he going to do? Do you program three bank and then maybe a three talon roll, black one slam to get behind everything? He's Ah, excuse me. I did not realize that. So that limits his options. Yep. Okay. He can do a three straight. Yeah. But that's not good. That's not the greatest because then, then his slam options are none. They don't exist. Yeah. Well, I mean, he slams through a rock. Well, yeah, exactly. You could do that. Half points himself and... Gets nowhere. Wow, look so at that. So turning away, interesting. So you think there's going to be a rotator? Not? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that's the real power of the RZ2. Mm -hmm. You thought it was going to do something that you mm -hmm. recognize from a jousting ship, and it just doesn't. And that's one of the interesting things about... We'll see if this actually catch Pe right. catches Peter, but um, certainly gobsmacks me. So that was a mind game. Peter assuming that we were all assuming, hey, Ed, that's a low PSA wing it's going to fly in and it's going to block me. Mm -hmm. And then Kelvin's like, well, no, I have a rear arc. I'm just going to not do that. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So it looks like Peter was trying to go for his own block there. I think he might have probably tried to... Oh, he did close the S-Wells. Oh, no, I apologize. No. The, X, the T-65 has the barrel roll on the bar. I'm, I apologize. Yep. Sorry, Reddit. I made a mistake. Uh, so I actually prefer the... Uh the S foils mechanics on the T sixty five. Right, uh, native barrel roll is incredibly powerful. It is, and uh, focusing to boost is just dynamite. Mm. Um, whereas focusing to barrel roll, unless your uh, Yen Num is not so hot, mm. I you know admit that on Yen Num it's pretty amazing. But two turns, so it looks like he's spreading on his arcs, hoping to catch some some A wings, making mistakes. Well, he's got a lot of arcs to spare. He's just got to mm -hmm. catch one or two into two three dice attacks on one A-wing. Might be enough to take one down. Do remember, though, that this is what Kelvin wants. He wants him spreading out. That he can start knife fighting and, and picking off one at a time. Kelvin is perfectly happy if he's got a five straight with Tally to just boost her and get out of all arcs, even if it doesn't give her a return shot, whatevs. Right. Uh, now, of course, the entire Rebel uh, mini swarm can K-turn in subsequent rounds with no cost with yep. Leia. So that's the thing to think about. It's interesting. 2.0 doesn't seem to be uh, to involve as many cards. You're saying as the lists don't seem to involve as many cards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the possibilities on the table uh, expand geometrically. Well, I think that's because there's a lot of concerted effort on on really balancing the, the ship abilities and the pilot abilities and the chat, just everything. And the cards that are there yeah. are much more functional. Yeah. I mean, not all cards can always be functional, but... Yeah, they, sorry, I, by functional, I mean they do more interesting things no, than I just agree mods. With you. No, I absolutely agree with you. What yeah. I'm trying to say is that, like, in, you, with a card pool the size that it is, they're not all going to be right, but there's a vast majority of interesting interactions that might only work with one or two ships, and there's still a lot to be mined as well, I feel. We haven't seen it all, I don't think. So I think Peter's now deciding whether or not he wants to coordinate and who he wants to do that on, I think. Yep. I think he's looking for a target lock. Yeah. Okay, so Peter's going to try to coordinate a target lock on B-Wing 2 onto... Oh, sorry, B-Wing 1 onto Tally. Yes. I think that's B-Wing 5. The numbers just haven't moved yet. Okay. Uh, yep, so we'll see. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the numbers haven't moved yet. Five straight. Tally's like, whatever. No, I am noping. Boys. And then that boost I'm is going to clear all arcs. I ain't getting blown up like in that movie you all saw. Although, getting blown up in your own hangar bay, it's the worst way to die. It's so sad. Uh, we're not allowed to talk about those films. Oh, okay. Sorry, Reddit. She goes for a straight boost. She's Wow. So she's just rotating and boosting. So Kelvin better hope he did get out of B-Wing 4's arc. Ooh, we got a block here. Yeah, that that's real bad for Kelvin. 
Ooh, that's a great block for Peter. Yeah, we know uh, Poe is not. Oh, is he one straight. Yeah, he opens foils. foils. Yeah. And was he going to do boost and charge lock, lock potentially? Somebody? Yep, he's doing it. He's just going to focus. Right, that was the foils. That's the reason for the foils change. Okay, so who's Poe going to select? So everybody, the ship that he wanted to shoot at is unheld, so there he's going to throw. I think I like that call. You want to start working on the AP5? Get that 36 points. Yep, get that coordinate off the that table. That looks like that might do it. Yep. Hit, All crit. paint, hit, 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 crit. Oh, he's been the focus. Did he? Okay. So shield and the crit. Crit is it's a direct hit, so Zeb is down past half. Uh, looks like... Direct hit. Yep. So I guess Lulo had no arcs. Lulo had no arcs, and now he's activating Tally. Yeah, that, that hurts. Nothing. Yeah, it caught him. Still, it's only one shot on Tally. Likely won't kill her. It is unmodded, though. Hmm? No, it's modded. Oh, no, sorry. I meant as, as that fact that Tally has no mods for defense. Sure. It could happen, but it would need to be, you know, two hits and then direct getting through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it could be another nasty crit. Could have been much worse had he not programmed that five straight either. That would have been... Oh, looks like they're worse. not entirely decided yeah. whether or not uh, there is Table arc. Judge is actually just checking arcs right now. So I guess it was determined there was no arc there? I believe so. Because it looks like he's moved on to consider other arcs. Yeah. So we've got a range two from two of those guys onto Lulo. Yeah. This is where it gets a little bit tricky with a high ship count list, measuring arcs cleanly. It gets a little bit fidgety, but you've got to take the time to do it right and make sure each sure. player gets the fairness that they're Or allotted. at that point decide that this game is not for you and quit. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is the game. Yes, unfortunately. That is part this of it. This is the mid game. It's the, oh, okay, we do all this for 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. And then eventually some ships explode, and then we have some space back. Yeah. So I think right now we're looking at, we're looking for obstruction versus non obstruction. And that's what we're trying to check. Great block by Peter. Yes. Um, we'll see if it's the end of Lulo. Even if it's not, it's going to half point him. Ow. Mm -hmm. So it's three. It's bad news. One of eight, yep. two. So that's pretty much what you expect. Okay, so chat, you had noticed that. Uh, Table Judge has ruled that Zeb's ability is a must. So the direct hit has actually been put back into the deck. Oh. Because he would have canceled the direct hit first using yes. pilot ability off right. that one of eight that he got. We talked about it, but we didn't, didn't remember it. So just one hit here. Lulo will live. He evades that. Now, if... Zeb gets some damage on Poe. That's just, like, humiliating. No, okay. <laughs> but it's something that happens in 2.0. Yes, it absolutely does. And we're going to get another arc check. No, I guess that was clearly out. Yeah. Well, that round did not go great for Kelvin. First round, I would say, is his. That round was Peter's. Some damage peppered around in there. Mm-hmm. The two, uh, the, two, the two shields on Poe, though, is probably a bit hurtful. I don't think he wanted to lose those so early in the game. That's true. But, you know, Poe has got to be caught. Yeah. Uh, or he has to wipe out these A-wings, which yeah. he's doing a good job of. Um, what happened to Tally? She, no, she just evaded. Yeah. Or no, there was no shot on her. That's there was what one happened. no shot, yeah. yeah the, okay. the table judge ruled it out of arc, and then all the rest of the fire came towards Lulu, and Lulu was able to escape with just two shields down. Yeah. That's not that bad of a result, all things considered. It really isn't, given how dire that situation yeah. looked for him. That, that, I mean, he, he could have been shots, evaporated. Two modded shots mm -hmm. from an X-Wing and a B-Wing and to only be down two shields with no mods, I, I think that's sort of a win, a small win. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting turn. Yes. So lots of ships to move, lots of blocking potential. We have one, one stress RZ2. RZ Poe is stressed. Oh, no, uh, also... Uh, Tally's also stressed up there as well. Yeah. Tally, though, as previously mentioned, can get the heck out. Yeah. She really does not have to stick around and 
fight a fight on their terms. Yeah. Also, you know, uh, those B-Wings are going to really have a hard time getting Ark on her here. Um, so, in all likelihood, they switch targets. They all K-turn using Leia. Well, now the new two point, the B-Wings in 2.0 also have the Talon roll. They do. Yep, you're right. They can Talon roll. That's a very tight Talon roll. It is. It's lovely. When it's the right situation. Right. Um, it's the wrong thing to do to pull out your B-Wing, play it the first time, and just Talon roll like nuts. But, uh, but it sounds like fun. It is cool. Like, I've, I've been in situations where I've got Ark with the B-Wing with the Talon roll where I wouldn't have got it with the... With the 2K? Yeah. And it does feel great. So Chad is expecting this might be a Leia turn? No, oh, I, I can't imagine this is anything other than a Leia turn. Okay. This is Leia turn. You want turn to turn everybody around? You want to get everybody pointing in the right direction? Yeah. So Kelvin, sensing all that heat and that pain, does not want to turn anywhere near that completely turning. Yeah, Chad, that made, uh, DEFCON 0 makes a lot of sense, especially because Zeb is heavily damaged. Mm -hmm. This is a great turn to use your Leia. You don't want it to necessarily blow up without having an opportunity to do so. Yeah, and uh, Leia's use on a She the Bead allows it to one backwards. Oh, White. right. That is interesting. So we got the K turn from the X Wing. Now he's at deciding his actions. Never the wrong call. When in doubt, yep. focus it out. So I take it his foils are closed. Another one of them thingies. Yep. Ooh, I think that blocks. That looks like a block. Should have done the talent. The talent roll might have been better served. Uh, I don't know. Screen's weird. Maybe. Yep. No, no it's a block. Yeah, it blocks. Cam is reaching in and rearranging the board state. Who knows who's bribed him. <laughs> we'll find out how that works out better for which player. Then we'll know. Right. So that's a little irritating for Pete. Yes. But not so bad. Look, he's got so many ships, and he just hasn't taken much damage so far. Kelvin's down a Torp. Yeah. I think, though, that what Zeb should be doing here is a three bank. Looking for block? And there's a one Talon. I think that's just a one turn. Or it's a one turn, which will yeah. still be white anyways. Yes, Because of, of Leia. Yeah. Amazing. So I like the it. the idea here is just threaten to kill Poe. Yeah, deter that one bank ship left. If he doesn't get Lulo out and he gets Poe out, yeah. eh, you shoot at Lulo. Yeah, and there so you go. The three bank. Yep. Just like you called. I have no doubt. Covering see a that lot coming. of board state Pete is here. It prevents two banks, I think. Now, this could be a... Th well, is the three bank... The three bank is not blue on the T-70, correct? It's white. Yes. Okay. So, three bank won't work. Yeah. I think we see an arc rotate and maybe a boost. I can't tell if he's got arc on... Arc is rear Zeb. right now. Yeah, uh, sorry, if the front arc would... Yeah, I mean, he can... He can. Oh, he's just going to... Straight boost. Yeah, he's going to dare to throw dice with that B-Wing. I'm not even sure he's got the B-Wing in arc. Yeah. And Ulo does his stuff. Model falls apart. Yeah. And game state is totally ruined. Irrecoverable. Mm. So Literally unplayable. Yeah, that's it. Stop watching. It's all wrecked. So there's no way a boost is working there. So focus fail a boost, or oh, ro rotate. Yeah. yeah. This is interesting. I'm guessing this is five. Did five end up? No. You know, I'm not entirely sure. So we got the B roll and a boost. So defensive stuff from Poe. Yeah. Looks like he's still in that B wing's arc though. So Lulo's ability is active now, it's stressed. There's going to be a range three onto Zeb, I believe. Mm hmm. Try to kill the ship you're killing. Just the one. It's got to hold on one. to that focus for defensive, and there and you go. And Zeb is off. a champion. You get another arc check here, I think. Yeah, we're looking for an obstruction or not. Oh. So it's ruled not obstructed. Oh, it is it's ruled obstructed, so it's three on three. Yep. Looks like Lou's going to eat some hurt here. Oh, no. there Trip we go. Natties. Trip nats. Ooh, I guess the decision here for Peter is shoot with Zeb first, Zed and B-Wing 4, then decide what to do with B-Wing 5, who's got shots on everybody. And it's just what he's doing. Look at that. Absolutely. Yep. A right call. 
Try get, oh, that's Hot that. Fire. Oh, Hot fire. Oh, no, thank you very much. Hot Let's fire. match natties with natties today. We're cooking. Range okay. two. So from this is the one that's on going to hurt. Yep. And almost certainly half points here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Natties. That oh, was a turn to do Kelvin. it on, Kelvin. That oh. was a turn to use your force powers. Number four. Oh, no, guess we're. Why are we? Oh, I see. He's double checking those arcs. Just confirming that they did, in fact, not miss. And again, you should absolutely check before you decide to pass on your ships. Yep. Make sure you have those arcs. One big damage. One big evade. That was positionally a bad round for Kelvin, and the dice went his way. Mm -hmm. You guys still got a stress po. Yep. He's having to spend a lot of post time stressing himself, not being able to do the kinds of things he wants to do. Mm hmm. Um, he's still got another Torp in the chamber. But Peter's got a lot of time. He's got a lot of ships. He can still chase Bo. He can still take him down. That Lulo got out of that situation and is alive. That's great news for Kelvin. Mm -hmm. um, but given the positions of those four, four heavy fighters, well, the two heavy fighters and the two space superiority fighters, he can turn it all on Lulo if he wants. Yes. And I think it probably will. It may not all keep Ulo and Ark. Tally's in a great position to harry Zeb from the rear. Mm -hmm. Although, Peter could choose to turn a couple ships that way. So the dilemma Kelvin's had for the last couple of rounds is pretty much been the same. There's four ships that are heavy shooters on the table. Mm-hmm. And he has to figure out which one of his own ships Peter is going to target and try to fake him mm -hmm. into going after the wrong ship. And uh, Now, if the, 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 one of the powers of the initiative order, the way this is, he could move the, that shuttle out of his way, which would allow that B-Wing to go there mm -hmm. and this B-Wing to come here. Now, this X is probably going to have to Talon roll, and this one can only get to about there. But he can still put most of his arcs this direction yes uh, to, to bother these two ships so peter peter is in still a pretty great position yep. good call good call and that's the difficulty i think that kelvin right now is, is cracking is how does he get his ships in without running them to a wall of fire and that's difficult <laughs> and peter's playing this quite well to spread everything oh yes who is uh five straight tally right a boost if necessary her arc is just, already in the right just, you don't want anything to do with this scrum you don't want to try knife fighting nothing just Figure out a time to come back and re-engage. Mm -hmm. And Poe. What do you do with Poe? So all that's, that's the thing. All the stuff's turning that way. I mean, Poe can burn black one to two turn, two bank. That's mm -hmm. probably a bit longer than it would go. I'm mm -hmm. not good at the at the the Madden machine. But you know, that doesn't get him anywhere in particular. These ships just follow those two next round. And he has to go fast with Lulo, assuming that there's some chance a couple ships will get on Lulo. It's time for the blue to get back in there, start messing around. But he's just going to go for long shots this turn. Talon rolling that way. The other way. Which is the damaged X-Wing? Number three? Right. Yeah. Okay. The, the one, one in the, the uh, Luke's colors. Three straight. Nice. Right, because he's not stressed. Yep. And getting them nicely in the formation as well. I think he'll do a barrel roll here. To ship right? Mm. Or to ship left? Mm. Oh, ship right. You called yeah. it. Yeah, the look of that rock in front of him. Left you don't want anything to do with that. Yeah. You don't want to be forced into a bank. Possibly only two turns. Beautiful. Just right yeah. in there. But depending upon what Lulo does, he yeah. may like that a lot. Of course, he does have Zeb. Still coordinate out of focus. Yep. Since... Zeb just rolls natties. <laughs> Lots of natties going around. He's going to focus himself, keep him, trying to keep yep. him on the board. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see if your prediction about the B-Wings is correct. No, it too was straight. incorrect. Probably 2K? Yeah. 2K. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think he's trying to set up a kill box in case Kelvin tries to turn any of his ships in. That will be like a one forward then? Yeah, okay. Keeping the body of his mini swarm together, even if it's not all facing the same way. I mean, I also think he's also playing patient as well. He's He's... Yep. He knows he doesn't need to rush it. He has a lot of ships. 
he can take his time, set up the approach, and not force anything. He's not technically winning on points, but I think That's he's winning true. positionally here. See, Lilo would just like to be able to self-stress himself for no reason here. Focus and then acquire stress. But he's yep. going to have to boost if he does that. That's right, because if he, call, if he elected to barrel, he would not be able to fail it. Because mm -hmm. you would be forced to do it uh, ship right then, or ship left. So he couldn't barrel roll and focus. Yeah. The RZ2s can't do that. That's not their linked op uh, option. So their, uh, th whatever the ability is called, yep. that replaces auto thrusters, allows them either to rotate or to boost. Yep. But as they were saying, still gets the stress. It's a range one, it's a range three shot to the rock, or he can, might be able to tag uh, X-Wing 2. Looks like Tally's moment to die has come. We'll see what Poe is doing. Just a two bank. Just grab a focus token. s is still closed. Mm -hmm. So with the s is closed on the T-70, that does allow him the option to focus into a linked barrel roll for stress. Yes, and also to barrel roll at all, because without right. the foils yep. closed, the T-70 can't barrel roll. And if he barrel rolls and focus, the entire mini swarm is coming at him next round. Yes, and I don't think he wants to be stressed this turn, though. Yeah, he'd really like to avoid it. That's the one, that is the one limiting factor, I think, with the, the T-70s or the Poe, um, is that when they're stressed, it's a lot more limited in what its options are, especially if they don't mm -hmm. have the R2. So that's going to put all the B-Wing fire then squarely into Tally. I mean, it's possible Tally will die just from the firepower of B-Wing 5 and X-Wing 3, mm -hmm. at which point 4 could take another shot on Poe, mm -hmm. uh, get rid of that noisome shield that Poe's been hanging on to. And he does do the focus because he pretty much has to. So I can't tell if Tally's in range or not. So I think it looked like briefly when he checked on X-Wing 3, it looked like that was out of range. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Zeb is in there. So he's going to go after Zeb. Yep. Does Wondering if he's going to spend focus or not. I think he's going to try to live. Just the one. Yep. And, and that's evaded. Zeb don't care. Tokenless X-Wing. Range 2 through the rock. Bet he wishes he had a trick shot. 3v3? Yep. No. Just one crit. Nothing. X-Wing don't care. Got 28 minutes left in the round. So that's the thing. Time is going to start to become a factor very, very soon as it's really I think it one point is. difference now. Yeah. Well, yeah. If Tally dies here, this is Pete's game to lose. Yep. No bullseye. Nothing for Tally. So something with two dice. Oh, that would be Zeb. Nope. Three dice. It was the B-Wing. Okay. Oh, that's the stress B-Wing. Tally is still there. Mm-hmm. Still kicking. So we still have the focus of B-Wing to go next. Two not obstructed into the B-Wing. Range two. Sorry, from the B-Wing. Apologies. Yep. Definitely Just spend two. that. Everybody's attack dice have cooled the hell heck down. Yep. And Tally doesn't care. There's been a whole lot of nothing going on. We actually haven't seen damage in two rounds. Really? I wow. don't think so. It feels like, it, it feels like we haven't. Mm -hmm. I might have missed one or two, but it feels like we haven't. Does Blue Squadron have a shot? It looks long. I don't think so. I have to tell you, I appreciate these. Oh, I thought he already shot. My mistake. Oh, yeah. Zeb gets a turn. Range three on the nice. Hero Zeb. Still got a focus token. Just one. And <laughs> Luo doesn't care. I mean, this is the uh, what the, the addition of the uh, RZ2 means for... Competitive play, a lot of rounds where nothing happens. Right. Oh, two through. <laughs> two there we go. <laughs> and then something happens, just when you least expect it. So that's two shields down onto. Uh, oh, it went through. I yeah, thought it was it double through. evades. No, it's double eyes. Oh, okay. Snake eyes. So that was on the the undamaged X wing. I believe so. Yes. Yep. So. <laughs> the love right. has been spread quite rightly around everywhere today. We've got three of Peter's ships. Uh, hovering at or just on half points. Mm -hmm. We've got Poe hovering at half points. Lulo is at half points. So this could go a lot of different ways. Two damage into Poe is huge for Pete right now, though. Yeah. To get that half on Poe, yeah. that would be massive yeah. for him. Yeah, it would be huge. 
And Poe really has to do something fancy here. He's, yeah, he's either black one time or arc dodging supremacy time. No, his, his black one options are going to be a little bit more limited, no, though, because of the stress. Mm-hmm. Well... Would he not be limited to a two-bank hard two? Remember, he can do a three straight. Oh, that's true. So three straight, then... Interesting. Three um, turn. He could try that. I don't think that's great for him. Yeah. But it might be some way to get out of this kill box. Yeah. Because I feel these guys... I feel the I feel Peter's lost the grip on at least Lulo and the blue. Well, I mean, X wing, X wing, like that. This area is no bueno for that A wing. I mean, he has to force Poe to burn that black one charge if he's ever going to catch him. So you're saying you're saying now is the time to get aggressive against Poe, make him burn it and then regroup and get him again, and then just get half points on him, and that's it. That's your game. This is a good opportunity for it. He's set up for it. He's got a lot of pressure he can put on him. On the other hand, mm -hmm. he could try to kill Tally. Yes. Where Tally try chooses to go here is enormous. Her arc is front-facing mm -hmm. currently. So if she wants... I mean, I think Kelvin just wants to get her out. Yeah. But, I mean, it'll be another round of insignificant firepower, if any for Kelvin if both Tally and Poe bug. Yeah. Because, you know, this is a turn it around round for Lulo. And Hera's got to be near recharge now. So. I think. Oh, sorry, sorry. Leia, Leia, not Hera. Yeah, Leia's on two charges. So one more round and then Leia is proccing again, which is amazing for Pete. Yep. If he can keep Zeb alive for one more round. Yep. Which it looks like he's probably going to be able to. Yep. And what Kelvin has to do is half point one of those ships dangling there. Then would you try to get really, really brave or brazen and do three straight, three Talon with black one, take the stress, and then target lock? Well, you can't strip because he doesn't have pattern analyzer. Right? He can't do all of that. So I'm getting a little bit too, too cute. That when, you, uh, when you black one, you yeah. end with either a disarm token yep. or an ion. Yeah. And in this situation, ending with an ion is suicide. Yes. Whatever he does. So. Yes. If he uses black one, he'll take the disarm. Yeah. And maybe grab a lock to yeah. set up for a later round. Yeah, to get that torp out. He's yeah. got to get it out. Okay, so we got the anticipated one bank from Blue Squadron 4. Probably the same there. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe a barrel roll or no? Mm, Probably not. you got to threaten the area. You want him to plop, pop black one. Oh, no. Peter ruins the game state. <laughs> Go back to Kalamazoo. It's all over. You I think you're it. happy to sit there, right? Yep. You block him the two forward. And then the other X-Wing 3 can come up. Three forward, maybe block the five straight. Yep. But remember, them things do uh, blue three banks. Honestly, I was playing them for a while. Mm -hmm. The RZ2s? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to get them on the table. I have two oh. of them. I'm excited to play them. They're so great. And it's a beautiful I looking model too. Switch back to flying uh, Rebel A Wing, mm -hmm. Arvel, for the first time mm -hmm. in a while. And I kept getting myself in positions and going, I'll just do a blue three bank. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's not there. Nope. I'll just rotate my arc back. Wait a second. Yep. Uh, you, that, not being able to do that suddenly hurts. No. So All right, looks like you're right. He's, he's uh, blocking a up, massive net. Blocking up Tally's choices. I mean, he's also putting enormous pressure on Poe here. Yes. And that's what he's able to do because of the ship count. Yep. The ship count and the fact that they all have three attack dice as well. Oh, look at this. This is glorious. Yeah. This is glorious. Yeah. Now, if Tally called a three bank right and it slips through that net, Tally is golden. And I think Zeb might just, just takes, get blocked too. Yeah, and Zeb I just. I think Zeb just takes his own focus to keep yeah. himself safe. Yeah. That makes sense to me too. I think Lulo chases the tail. It's of a great positioning round for Peter. Yeast. He can't boost. I mean, he can boost and rotate, yeah. and but he'll have no mods for defense, which he wants. Goes Three the bank. other way. Yeah. So Tally will have one set of guns on her. Does she dare focus and rotate here? So as I was saying earlier, Kelvin's kind of player. If there's any potential that he was going to get blocked, he's not going to go there, and that's exactly what he figured he'd do that there. Mm -hmm. It was the potential he'd get blocked. Well, he's got to. I think he's got to get aggressive. 
I think he's got to get his ships firing. He's got to get them in. Neither there. of those blue squadrons can be half pointed. Well, I mean, if Tally rolls three, she can do it to number four, but yep. she can't roll it. So just the two bank. Yep. Yep. This is bad for Poe. Bad, 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 bad. Well, he had to clear his stress. I think he has the two straight. I think he's he has got to, a black one. He's got a black one, two straight. This is Deadsville otherwise. It's been a great match. Peter from Kalamazoo is. Yeah, as you called it. Showing us it. he can bank as well and get out. Oh, well, no, he can't get out of X-Wing 3's arc. But, yeah. He's only going to take one shot. He's going to take two shots. I think, I think he might still be in B-Wing 5's arc. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, he just nudged. Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. Whole lot of nothing. So there's a whole lot of spots where Peter might have arc. Guess not there. So you definitely start with that one because that makes the most sense. Uh, uh, we're not going to measure that one formally. Okay. And it's three hot ones. And that's going to be the end of Poe's shields for sure. Two of eight. Takes one. It's so the end of Poe's shield. Still not half points. 19 minutes remain. That's no it. arc. Yeah, well, we knew he dodged that one. Right. Apologies to the stream. Uh, we are using a wireless hub this weekend, and Rogers, in their infinite wisdom, decided that they would suspend us because we hit 50 Ooh, bucks in overages. Uh, fortunately, we were able to see the message, and we we're back online. Hopefully, we weren't down for you too long. Hopefully, we caught it quickly enough. But uh, back to your regularly scheduled X-wing. Peter was able to pressure Poe into a situation where he absolutely had to uh, use his Black One title, and he got uh, he's so far gotten away with only losing one shield on Poe. Poe still not at half points left. So another we need two dice shot from blue at x-wing three who pierces still have a focus so it's you know not gonna they're talking about the cardboard versus plastic debate and the x-wing doesn't care yeah. <laughs> that this score is still where it is is mind-boggling pete has some good options here to pull out a win he's got the capacity to pop leia this turn well, that's what i was saying because leia is back in regen again yep so there is potentially 2K here, hard one that's white there. Mm -hmm. Does the hard two squeak in? You think it'll fit everywhere in he there? He can move the X-Wing first and boost it. Yeah. He could do the, could do the uh, X-Wing first, get the hard two out there, and then the hard one will fit no problem, you're thinking? Mm. Or, or you're saying hard two and then boost it with close foils? Yeah. I mean, a two dice shot on Poe is, you know, okay. Better than a zero dice shot. Or, yep. Yeah, or a mod it giving that X, the other B-Wing a three mod shot. He might actually 2K B-Wing five and... Talon, One Talon, B wing four. Right. If Kelvin, I mean, it, it's it would be an insane ambition at this point. It would just be wild and crazy for Kelvin to try to get through the rest of these sixteen minutes without taking any more damage. Yeah. To stay above half health. Yeah. And have so, the scores. So he has to operate on the fact that Poe is going to get half health, which means he has to understand that he's got to do. 43 points of damage, 44 points of damage. Got to win 43 list. points by half pointing. So he's got to kill an X Wing or both X Wings. He's got to finish half pointing uh, Blue Squadron 2. Yep. And finish off one of the wing X Wings. And maybe kill Blue Squadron 3. Yeah. And possibly Zeb into the bargain for a nice cushion. Can he do that? Wow. It, it doesn't look like he, he will be able to with all the, uh, the way the dice have been going. And the firepower he's got. Well, also, he's table. been having to spend so much of his time and his actions positioning out of just getting murked. Yeah. So, kudos on him. The fact that Poe only has three damage, the fact that Lulu only has two damage is a little bit of the dice variance, but also in the fact that he spent every turn, instead of trying to attack, he spent every turn dodging arcs, minimizing his risk, and staying alive. And that's why it's only a 20 to 21 point game. Yeah. Had he not put all of that time, energy, and effort into avoiding all that damage, this would be a much different game for Kelvin. He would be sure. far no, further I mean, behind. It's to Peter's credit. Oh, not, yeah, he's given him no to, options. Peter's yeah. been flying fantastically well, keeping all of his arcs all over the place, allowing, it, allowing him to have uh, Kelvin to be forced into always trying to avoid situations in which he doesn't want to be facing on the barrel of those things. And as we were talking about it, it looks like Leia has proc'd. 
Okay, so I have an update from the Marcel Misano versus Colin Pickerton game. We've got a very tight end game. We got full health Corin, and we have half health Wedge, half health Luke, and it's very tight. Just commenting on what we were talking about has happened, has happened. Oh. Um, Leia did get proc this round. And we are seeing. That's a nice. We did move. see the beautiful one Talon with something that we haven't seen yet on the B Wing the fact that they can link action a focus into a barrel roll. So which is amazing when you set that up. Oh, wow, Peter. Yep. My metaphorical hat is currently off to you. Beautiful maneuvering. Great that Literally he had Leo. Literally speaking, your metaphorical hat is yes. off. Yeah. But, and, my, and, my, and my physical one is also off, too. It is. Yeah, which is very rare for me to not have my hat on. Uh, but that was a, what a turn, and that'll be a three talent. Man, I love that the, the, the linked action barrel roll on a B-Wing is just delicious. That's awesome. Yeah. It this loves is, to barrel roll anyways to stay in there. Tremendous positioning from yeah. Peter. Yeah. Something's not happening right. Oh, they're flipping it, so they did the talons right. What? Peter doesn't have lines on his templates? Nope. Just got to make sure he can line up the hash marks properly. Yeah. Well, I mean, the cardboard provided ones. Hmm? The um, cardboard provided ones that <laughs> came with the original core set do mine, have hash Mine are hilariously, like, not centered at all. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're just, like, the, three quarters of the, the way across. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had the other ones anyway. I have my acrylic ones, so it doesn't matter. Kel yeah, so Peter ships, uh, set up his ships in such a way that he threatened Kelvin's Poe, and Poe had to bro burn his black one title, and yep. in the result, only lost one shield. And this subsequent turn, Peter was able to have his fully regen uh, lay ability proc and has set up this absolutely phenomenal kill box to potentially steal a win right now on this turn because he's got Poe in a situation where there's, not very, not, there's almost nowhere for him to go yep. to not take attacks. Tally will try to hurt something. Yep. Uh, so let's see if we've been keeping track of which of our X wings are which. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. So uh, it was the uh, Luke paint scheme one that is number three and is yeah. half pointed. Here comes Let's Lulo, full of fire. Rotate and, rotate and focus or rotate and boost? Uh, rotate and focus. Oh, right, because you can't do what I just said. Yeah. You can't. Um, yeah. No, you can because you can take the boost as your regular boost as, to rotate as regular action. And okay. And the, the okay. other one is your bonus. So we've got a two bank from Poe. That is Which is why that one Talon barrel roll was inspired. Yeah. On uh, B-Wing 1. Now he can barrel roll right and focus. That may be his best option. Again, Poe won't be doing anything in terms of contributing damage. Or do you just nice boost and so. focus and just try to smear Wedge? Uh, wedge, Zeb. <laughs> Zeb. My apologies. I don't know. It's flying it like it's Wedge. <laughs> no. <laughs> wedge in the sheath of Pete. <laughs> that would be that'd be scary. Fear my two attack dice. <laughs> it would be fair because you'd be dropping everybody down to two and one defense dice. It would, it would be pretty decent. All right. So he did do the barrel roll. So he's only in one X wings arc. That looks like nothing, Kelvin. The pose got no shots. Lulo is deciding. I think he shoots at the Luke painted X wing. Tries to. Oh, he's going to try to paste Zeb. Zeb somehow ended up without tokens. Does he dare? He's at long range of that B-Wing. He doesn't dare. Oh, and that X-Wing too, possibly. So no damage on Zeb. Maybe the blue can hurt him. But remember, Fritz will go second. Tally into the less damaged X-Wing. Right in the middle of the plastic versus measure from the plastic from the cardboard debate here. Well, in this situation, though, you can't precisely move the rock out of the way to get a better result either. So you've got to get as close as you can to as close as you can. Just one. Oh, two. Two X wing don't care. Yeah. And Lulo has escaped that. Oh. Was that just out or is it just in? I think it's just in three. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get a judge check. Cam is earning his wages here. Cam gets paid nothing. What's that? He's getting, pay he's getting paid in love. Nothing. We're paying him in love. Yeah. He is definitely earning it, though. Oh, he's, he's, he's earning that love. Yeah. He's making up for his previous sins, yeah. quite honestly. I was going to point out one thing for this match. Now, it's a 21 to 20 point match. There hasn't been a lot of quote unquote action, not a lot of exploding. But that's not because nothing's been happening or people haven't been engaging. I would, I would liken this match way more. I would liken this match way more to something like a jiu jitsu match and the fact that everybody's posturing for control constantly and it's about flow, position, and control. It's not about, it's not a boxing control. match. It's not a striking match where you should have come out going toe to toe with each other. Um, 
Uh, Kelvin can't go toe to toe with with Pete's firepower. Mm -hmm. Pete has been doing an amazing job of uh, counteracting Poe's. Um, Kelvin's maneuverability by doing just amazing positions with his ship, spreading out arcs, and mm -hmm. just keeping everybody guessing. And it, it actually has been kind of a clinic for maneuvering and positioning and board control. Absolutely, T4 viral. It's definitely been a chess match. He evaded it. Mm -hmm. One and one. So what happened, sir? Nothing. <laughs> one, one hit, was one that evade. Is a shot on Poe? Yeah, one hit, one evade. Okay. Oh, that was the long bomb from yeah. the B-Wing. And that's this X-Wing is hot fire. And, and that spends it, takes one, that's half points on Poe. Was that a crit on Poe or just a hit? Uh, it was a crit and it was weapons failure. Okay. So Poe is now a professional damage sponge. Good old table judge camp trying to get people to stay honest with their tokens, getting them removed as soon as they're spent. Ah, uh, totally. Love that. Cheesed me off yesterday. I'm like halfway over to flip my crack shot token, and Cam's all like, flip your crack shot token. <laughs> he's nothing if not for real. We love him for it. Yeah. So we're just getting the measuring now. Zeb on in that arc? That's Zeb. I don't think he's got arc. So now we have a sizable lead by Peter. Yeah. And finally, we got like an, a realistic dice result out of him, and even with the focus, was enough to squeak through. I mean, his dice haven't been that cold. They're just a little colder the last couple of rounds. It wasn't even cold or warm. It's just that, again, because it was all about posturing for position, mm -hmm. spending focuses on evades, and everybody has been spending things defensively. It's been a very defensive-minded, no one wants to make the first mistake match. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just Pete spent, you know, 50 plus minutes chasing Kelvin down, and yep. Kelvin just couldn't run anymore, and his Poe finally took that one last hit. Only two on the blue. Yep. But this is likely to blow the blues focus. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's Which means be he won't be able to do any pew, real threatening pew damage to Zeb. Yeah, he won't be any threatening damage there. T4 viral of top four. Absolutely, exactly that. You're, you would definitely be defensive too. These both, they're both trying to make the next round. Just one. Uh, and you want to play cautious. You want to play clean and cautious. If this one gets through at half point, it does not. Six minutes remain in the game. Yeah. I mean, the thing here is that Pete is in a decent position to murder. Poe. Yeah. I mean, that that Leia dough. Yep. yep. Both uses were epically used. It was a clutch. Very huge. I mean, it's just really powerful yeah. on Rebel ships because yeah. Rebel ships depend upon K turns and uh, Talon rolls Absolutely. for position. And like, being able to get that focus is so huge for them after that, especially yep. when you can do it on a list. And, and that focus is actually right now what made the difference because Pete's B-Wing, or, or was it the X-Wing, uh, rolled hit, uh, crit, blank, uh, focus. And had that not been... Oh, well, I guess that went hard, too, so I'm, I'm wrong. Never mind. But what I'm trying to say is allowing to have focuses on the B-Wings and other things is allowed to keep the pressure up. Yeah. And that was very, very important. And the positioning is also great for him right now, too. Like, he's got, you know, he's got a hard two. He's got the you know, one straight. This guy can come up. Even the ship that Pete can get in there for some action. He's got, he's got a lot of pressure he can still put. Mm -hmm. Now, is there, is there uh, a win condition currently you see on the table for Kelvin? I mean... If he sacrifices the rest of his Poe yep. and gives away uh, 42 more points, uh, then he has to somehow kill 80 points. Yeah. And I don't see how he does that. Just with the on, three A's. On the other hand, I don't think Poe can get out of there. I feel a block coming from one of these ships, probably X-Wing 2. It's the damaged one, so that would be good to do. Turn some guns on Lulo, too, if Lulo tries to get in there. Yep. And don't forget about X-Wing 3. He's sitting over there. Tally is basically disengaging this round. Mad Chemist 7, did Poe use the title? Yes, Black 1 was burned two turns ago. Uh, Peter forced him into doing it. Dar Sidiru, your question is, there was no self-list, but the damage has been spread out. Was that good play from the Resistance or bad play from the Rebels? It was good play from both. Um, Peter's been playing very phenomenally well, keeping all of his arcs, challenging Kelvin at all times, giving him almost nowhere to go. And Kelvin's been flying his bum off to make sure he hasn't flown in any one of his ships into a kill box. So it's been really good play from both of them, and that's why you see so much spread damage on both sides of the table. Oh, yeah, Poe's got a weapons failure. Yeah. Which means even if he just throws Poe in, tries to bring down a ship. Well, if he had a, he has a, he does have a torp, though. Oh, that's some significant information. Which is another uh, credit to Peter's game this day. He, he's managed to keep Poe in a situation Here where he could not block. fire. Yeah. I think with that barrel roll, he can put himself in the middle of... Yeah. He's focusing. Well, he's thinking he's about thinking it. He's thinking about it. Ooh, you may see it. This is the moment when you're in the player, like, 
Kelvin, you're in the player role like Kelvin is here. Yeah. Where you're waiting on the guy not yeah. to do the thing to that you don't want him to do. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't do that. And then thing. you're trying to like, uh, can I pretend some stuff? Oh, he's barrel rolling the other way. He's trying to kill Lulo. We've mistaken his objective. It's mm. kill Lulo time. If we're right about that, Torp means Bo can come at someone and Torp somebody. Yeah. Is that a bump? Yep. I think it might. Oh, it looks like it fits clear. Three minutes remain. Will there be another round after this one? And now the B-Wing is barrel rolling and focusing. So he's really banking a lot on that being a two-turn out of yeah. Poe. And that's obviously why he barrel rolled the X-Wing as well to cover as much ground. Zeb moved yet? Uh, I actually don't know. Zeb is yet to move. Surely he's not thinking of crashing through a rock with Zeb because that old... That could oh. half point a Zeb for no reason. I think a bank maneuver is most likely programmed. Can a reverse fit? What is he doing? Hard two. Two turn. Okay, right. Which will fit nicely, I believe. Yeah, it will. Nicely done. Oh, and there's still another X Wing left. Yeah. Because there's no ships killed yet. Yep. Right. I think we'll see something die here. Yeah, I think that's inevitable. Tally sets up for another attack run. Don't think she's got arc there, but we'll see. No. Well, she'll have that, that X-Wing. You know what? It, it might have arc. Nice call from Lugo. So this is a situation where you can focus for the failed boost? Yeah. Well, no, because the boost, you would go all along the template until... Nope. He's, there we go. Okay. Yeah, he's doing oh, that this. makes sense. I see what he's going to do. But... Yeah. Oh no, why just oh why didn't you just keep it frontwards and coordinate shots with Tally? So what's going on? There's two stress tokens? I, I don't know what's happening. Thought maybe you'd do a one bank there. Poe is boosting. Yeah. Focusing because you might as well try to live. Yeah. Not give up the points. Well, at this situation though it's single elim it's an elimination. The points aren't really gonna matter. He's got a kill. Oh, well, this X-Wing is down to, X-Wing 2 is down to 3 health, Four. so yeah. Tally, unable to half point number 3. We got one through. Mm, yeah, that does half point number 3. Yay, well done, Emily. Oh, oh there's there, some money. There's the Lulo fire. That's what he needed. Yep. Kelvin saying it's about time. So, pop goes X-Wing 2. So that'll get that X-Wing, I believe. X-Wing 2. I mean, if that's who he's being shot at. That's who he shot at. Range 1 with Lulo. Yep. So he's, he's just blowed up. It's time, according to our timer here. Now, we had a t problem with the timer in a previous round. The time may be incorrect. We'll see in a moment. No, they are running on, I believe they're running on time with the, uh, with the rest of the event. Now, I, s I feel, despite, no, oh, it's not enough for Kelvin. Not without the contributions of Blue, who could only conceivably half point Zeb. So if Kelvin loses a ship here. If he loses Poe, which could definitely happen. He could lo lose both Ulo and Elo. So we've got one hit. Here comes Heroic. And oh, that, Heroic. And that, my friends, is why Heroic, heroic. is for feelers. Beautiful. So that helped him out there. Okay, we got Zeb blanking out. Oh, Oof. wow. Oh, wow. And then and there's we got that his range too, but unless he kills Poe, this shot doesn't matter. Kelvin is down by one point, though. He mm. needs to do one damage on Zeb to win. So both Poe and no Elo doesn't have the token. So the question is, does that B wing have Elo and Arc? Get the judge in there, guys. Looks like no. Absolutely, Matt. Before seeing heroic is the card is of the weekend. So we've got uh, three. Ooh, that's that's nice. On takes two. Poe takes two, but lives. But the blue, the blue gets to shoot. If yeah. he can put one damage into Zeb, Kelvin wins. Yes. Holy smokes. His A-Wing still has one to shoot. Ending. Yeah. So Peter's uh, just trying to figure out oh, where to use Oh, the B-Wing hasn't yes. shot. Yeah. B-Wing hasn't shot. He's still okay. trying to figure out where to put his shots. The B-Wing can totally take Ooh. Lulo off. He absolutely can. No, he, he could take Poe off. He could take Poe off, too. But that's, uh, that's three on three. Focus on both sides, whereas it's four on three. No focus for Lulo. 
I mean, it is one extra point of damage to do. Yeah, so Peter's just doing the math in his head now. He's trying to figure out where's the best use of this attack. He's trying to find a way to solidify his victory here. Using the ancient just symbol technology of humankind, pointing. Heroic is, as my friend Samit keeps saying, heroic. <laughs> so, oh, what, what just happened? People are just dropping stuff. No, they're still, Peter's still trying to talk through the math. He's taking his time. It's his last okay. turn. He's trying to figure out what oh, can this I is do. Wild. To be fair, like, this, is where, like, this is where one of my weakest points of my game is like, understanding what have I killed, what, what have I done, mm -hmm. what do I got to do to keep myself in this game. I don't want to make the wrong mistake. Oh, absolutely. And, and it's viable, right? Like, it's, it's a top game. He's, he wants to do the right choice. He's trying to take his time to do it right. Yeah, they're, they're doing the math. Now, this is, I love 2.0, mm -hmm. but this new feature of end games. Right. When your brain is broken. Is it and problematic when you have eight ships on the, nine ships on the table? And you're trying to figure it out? Yeah. Range this, one, Lulo, decision's been made. Yeah, I think that's the right call the whole time. Just two. Well. So if Lulo can get... No! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's the game. Oh. Oh, oh heroic. Heroic <laughs> for two damage. Two. So Takes one more damage. Half points. If that was at Zeb at half points. But Lula went down, though. I don't did. think that's enough. So I, I think that's a, So, yep. I think it, Pete just squeezed by. A 17-point win by Peter Wow. Rose. That yep. came through. So Pete killed Lula. So he wins that one, I think. Wow, that was close. That was literally nail-biting down to the last minute. That was a, the last that was, second. That was a, the last die roll, priority. one die roll, so one defense the, roll. As the chat was saying, that they thought that the, the, the attack was the four on two on modded. Yeah, and it, totally agree. He just needed to get enough. He needed to get two through, and he got two through, yep. and that one on the game. He, literally two points. What a yep. match. Incredible match. What a match. Hats off to both these players. Thank you for putting on an amazing show, a clinic of how to position and out position each other back and forth, posturing for position. Um, that was exciting.